tasted, I've tasted your goodness, and I trust in your promise. I'm gonna wait on you, God. I'm gonna wait on you. I've tasted your goodness, and I see the promise, and now I'm gonna see. You know I know, and you know I know You're gonna see me through this 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 oh. So I'm gonna wait on you I'm gonna wait on you Cause I've tasted from verses 27 to 31. And we all know these verses very well. Let's say, He gives power to the faint. To him who has no might, He increases strength. Even youth shall faint and be weary. Young men shall fall exhausted. But they who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings of eagles. They shall run and not be weary. This is the promise for you today. This is the promise for you today. You will mount up with wings like eagles. You will run, you will walk, you shall not faint. Hallelujah. Oh, but this, this is part of an answer to a question that's uh, posed in verse 27. And it says, why do you say, O Jacob, and speak, O Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God. And in that situation, for Israel, the whole answer came after that. But I believe that today also there are some of you who feel like your cause has been disregarded, that you feel maybe unseen, Unknown, but oh Lord, oh I say to the people of God, your way is not hidden from the Lord, your cause is not disregarded by your God, your right is not disregarded by your God, he knows you, he sees you. Is a verb. 
It's not passive, it is, it is a verb. Although it is not in vain when you wait on the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. It's not in vain.